What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. And today we're going to be getting into another interesting video topic. Now, as you guys know, this Cleveland Browns defense has been firing on all cylinders, literally. Um, holding teams to under, um, what, a total of nine points, I think. Something crazy like that. <laughs> um, or at home, um, you know only allowing about like 19% of first down completions. Um, and a lot of, and a big piece of this defense and a big thing that a lot of people aren't really talking about, but they're starting to pick up on it a little bit. It's because they're getting all pro level safety play from Grant Delpit. And um, if Grant Delpit is going to be playing the way he's been playing, um, going back to the last four games in 2022, and these first three games in 2023, we got about a seven game sample size of Grant Delpit playing at a elite safety level. Now, the reason why we, I'm breaking this video to attention is because Grant Delpit is going into, a, you know, in his final years. Um, and the question is gonna have to be asked, and I'm gonna be here to be the first guy to ask early. Can the Browns keep Grant Delpit? Let me bring and talk about some of the reasons why this is, um, you know, maybe not as easy as some might think. Grant Delpit and the way he's playing, guys, the way Grant Delpit is playing is like Jesse Bates type of money. Now, it's a good and a bad thing to that. Jesse Bates is a guy that the Cleveland Browns try to go after. Um, very valid. They wanted to sign a big safety guy like that. But with Grant being like a hybrid, more of a box, and you're able to put Grant in linebacker sets, and you got Juan back there for the next three years, I do see a way that they do go out of their way to go and get keep Grant. Now, will he get paid or will it be a franchise tag? I think Grant Delphi, um will definitely at least be franchise tag next year. Um, I'm pretty sure they had the franchise tag David and Joko at first, but I think Grant Delpit will be franchise tag at least. I don't think this is going to be his last year by any means. Um, now, Nick Chubb, that's a different story, but we'll get into that later into the year. But uh, Grant Delpit, yeah, so I, I, I definitely think he's going to be ending up franchise tag. It just depends on his market. If the safety market goes up higher than what JC Bates is getting, then you got to pretty much pay Grant Delpit top three safety money. Um, we're going to see at the end of this year, is he worth that? Because right now, we don't know if we should pay him top safety money. It's only a seven-game sample size. But if he plays his way and the Browns win football games because of it, and he's one of the best tackling safeties in the league, uh, already creating interceptions, you know, this defense, the only thing you can say about this defense is they don't create interceptions. And Grant Delpit is one of the only guys with one. Um, so, with that all being said, man, he's going to price himself out. But I don't know if he'll price himself out of Cleveland. I think he's going to be a very, very, a big thing to talk about. And we got to pretty much watch how the Browns move about it. If the Browns go out of their way and they draft a safety in a second round pick, he's probably gone. But I just, I don't see that. Um, we haven't drafted a safety high in a very long time. Um, and I don't know if safety is even one of those positions that Jim Schwartz values. Uh, if, if Jim Schwartz is even here next year. Um, with the way they're playing and the way he's coaching, man, a lot of guys are going to price their self out. Uh, and I'm, and we have to see who, who Andrew Berry chooses to keep around. Now, obviously, Jim Schwartz can leave on his own. You know, he's a head coach. He can leave on his own. Um, so, Jim Schwartz might be here for a year. Might. Uh, it's not the same as like an Eric Behenemy and uh, Andy Reid because Andy Reid is the office of mind and coach. And Eric Behenemy is the um, office of coordinator for the Chiefs. What well, was the office of coordinator for the Chiefs? Now, um, with Kevin being known as an office of player, office of coach, uh, not office of player, but just an office of mind and coach. With that defensive coordinator coaching the way he's coaching, he's getting all the respect for it. Like, the defense is not going to get credited by Kevin. It's going to be mostly Jim Schwartz that's going to take that credit. 
And that's going to make Jim Schwartz a very um, expendable, not expendable, but he's going to get himself a head coach in an uh, interview just off these three games alone. Um, another player to get into is we're going to start to think about with this Grand Delpit situation is if they do end up paying Grand Delpit, who would that mean they have to move off of? Would it be like a guy like a Denzel Ward, a guy like a Nick Chubb, a guy like a um, like a Wyatt Teller, a guy like that, you know? Would it be one of those guys that they choose to go out and replace? I think choosing and paying attention to these last couple of years' drafts, um, I still don't understand why we extended Jack Cochran because that money alone probably could have just went to Grand Delpy. <clears throat> Not saying, like, literally it could have went to Grand Delpy, but that, that money alone... Um, with the with the resources that we put in drafting a guy like Dewan Jones, we didn't need to extend Jack Cochran like that. Dewan Jones is playing out playing on our first round pick in Jedrick Wills. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind, something to watch out for when you look across the board and you look at who's playing well, how many years they got left on their deal. Um, guys immediately like Denzel Ward, Jack Cochran come to mind. Um now, as far as Nick Chubb goes, as far as will that affect the Grand Delta situation, we simply don't know because we don't know what Jerome Ford is. If Jerome Ford looks like a guy, it might be. Um, so it all just comes down to a lot of different things and a lot of different variables. Variables, But at the end of the day, you know, they can just franchise tag them in worst case scenario to keep them. Um, now, I got to see and check out our roster to see who else contract is up. But I know Grant... Well, him playing like the best safety in the league with these last three games. He's playing like a top three safety, which is just insane. Um, he's going to become a very hot topic, um, if not sooner, rather than later. Um, so that's going to be my take and my opinion on it. You guys comment down below. Also, hit that like button, man. Please. You know, hitting the like button really helps me out. You know, I only got 245 subs, so I'm trying to grow the best way as I can. And, you know, the Browns community is a community only a few people really touch in and tap into. So I greatly appreciate all this love and support that you guys give me, man. You guys are the best. Um, yeah, comment down below anytime. I reply to all my comments. Um, you know, like the video. Hit that sub button. It's your boy, Will. I'm out. Peace. We out of here, y'all.